Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and Star Daily Card reading for September 29th, 2021. Please make sure that you go back and watch the weekly if you have not yet done so. Let's see what we have going on here. All right. Oh, <laughs> came right out for us. Time to breathe out. Disseminating Moon, it does have this feeling of surrender as well. So in order for us to know how to move forward, we're going to have to let go of what we've been trained to think. We're going to have to let go of our need to be right or even the sting and the thrill. It's the sting of the thrill of a story. We really need to let that go. This is where people, you know, they want to go into like, well, what if it were, if, what if it was this or what if it was that? Or blah, blah, blah. Listen, I'm a writer and my mind is always thinking like that to put into context of a story or character development or whatever. But real life is real life, okay? So we don't want to make like a false story out of someone's very real pain, okay? Or sensationalize it because it gives us a tingle. That's the kind of thing that we need to let go of. Now, a lot of you watching this video, you're probably not in that realm, but this is the surrendering. It's time to breathe out. It's time to get focused, letting all that stuff go so that you have space to be focused and so that we can show up without judgment as much as we can. Humans just naturally judge. We just do. But try to mitigate that a little bit so that we can be present with our fellow human beings to show up in the way that we can help ourselves and heal ourselves and be there for others and hopefully start to unlock some of these horrible, horrible, horrible patterns that are leading to these horrible events. That's how we're gonna heal. One of the things that I have a little bit of trouble with with a lot of spiritual practitioners out there is they act as if it's like you just wake up from a terrible nightmare and now you're spiritual and now you're cured and everything's great. And all you got to do is just stay in the light and you'll be fine. <sighs> How diminishing to people who are in pain. That's not helpful. And what's more, it's not correct. <laughs> it, it's not helpful and it's not even accurate. We incarnated to come in, experience these things, see what's going on and go, whoop, okay. Let, let's correct this. We are course correcting. Many of you who would be watching this video, and, and we can have a huge age span, but we all incarnated at this time to be the end of the line for things like abuse. It stops with us. To be the end of the line with people being violated, it stops with us. That's what we're supposed to be doing here. But if we're never, and I said this in the weekly, if we're never willing to have a conversation because it just makes people uncomfortable. Or, as I was also saying in the weekly, if, if we can't look at it because people are in so much pain, they can't handle one more bit of information. I get that. I get that. Absolutely. So then we need to heal our pain. It's not by sidestepping and it's not by like, oh, isn't this just a thrilling concept to think of 1111 and how magical that is but you're not understanding what the true symbolism is behind that or how that messaging is coming through your, your spiritual team and trying to get your attention. Do you understand where that falls flat if you start to sensationalize it? Now they're not getting through and now we're in trouble. That's what we're talking about here. This is an ongoing thing. <laughs> we're going to have to be very, very aware. Work on your healing, that deep healing. Okay? And it's not just going to come. I am a spiritual practitioner sitting here telling you it's not just through spiritual practice. It's a combination of working with your physicality and your spiritual self. The brain can hold memories. It can store them. And now you don't even know why you're doing half the stuff you're doing. So work with somebody to help you unlock that part too. All right. So we're going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.